All right, hold up. We gotta make it spooky. Nope, 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 nope. There we go. Ugh. Hello and welcome back to another Florida Man YouTube video. I'm Trevor and we are here at the Florida headquarters to discuss Halloween Horror Nights. This year, I was fortunate enough to do Horror Nights a few times. And when I mean a few, I mean a dozen times. So I got to do a lot of the houses multiple times. So I think it would be fun to make a tier list of what's the best houses and what's the worst houses. So let's dive right on into it. I will link the very same tier list in the description of this video in case if you guys also want to do the same tier list. All right, so we are here. And as you can see, the very first house is Beetlejuice. Now this house, uh, I love. I think it is a great house. The theming in it is absolutely fantastic. The dinner room scene gets me every single time. But is it the best house? I'd say no. I'd put it at A tier. The only reason why, it's a fun house. But it's not scary. A lot of the scares are pretty basic. Um, the one scare that gets me every time is when you go into the Lost Souls room. Those guys creep me out. But everything else, it's just a fun house. I absolutely love this house. But it's not the best. Next up is Bride of Frankenstein Lives. Now this is a returning house from 2020, and uh, 2020 was a fun year for everyone. So it was good that they did bring back Horror Nights for 2020. Now as far as Bride of Frankenstein Lives, it's a good house. The theming in it is nuts. The structure of the castle when you walk into that first room and the Bride of Frankenstein is lifting the pillar off of Frankenstein's monster, it's unbelievable. This house, I gotta say, is a solid A tier house. There's some great scares in it. There's some great moments in it. It has so many little Easter eggs that you have to keep an eye out for. The only reason why I have it at A tier is because it's a returning house. It's not too scary, um, but it is still a great house. Next, Case Files Unearthed. Now this house, is an absolute nightmare for me. I love this house, but it scares me all the time. One little fun fact about this house is that when you enter and you'll see that on the door, there's a date, October 25th, 1991. This is the very first Horror Nights Universal has ever put out. Now, where should we put this house? Honestly, everything about this house is amazing. The theming is great. The scares are amazing. The werewolf dog thing gets me every single time. It's gotta go up at S tier. This is the perfect Horror Nights house. Next up is Netflix's Hill House. Hill House, all in all, is a fantastic house. It has a lot of great scares. The bowler hat guy creeps me out so much, it's not even funny. Every time he just looks at me and goes right after me. This whole house covers so many different scenes throughout the show. It's unbelievable. You honestly feel like you are in Hill House. It is great, which is why I am putting it at A tier. And the only reason why I'm putting it at A tier is because there's certain scenes in it that kind of takes you out, especially that one scene where you're walking through the black corridor. And I know that it's a special effect so you can see the bent neck lady above you. But honestly, it takes you out of the whole entire thing. And then you get put back into the whole house. It just kind of seems awkward to me. I don't know. It just takes me out of the whole entire house. Next up is Icons. And honestly, this house is my favorite house in the entire event. Every single time I've gone to this event, I've done Icons. I never get tired of this house. Every time you go in, it's a completely new experience because at the end, they change out who wins. So I've seen Jack, I've seen Chance, I've seen the director, and I've seen the usher. So this house has to be S tier. The scares are perfect, the decor is perfect, everything about this house is perfect, and I hope they bring it back next year because I can never get tired of this house. Wicked Growth is actually one of the very first houses we did on the first day of Horror Nights this year. And honestly, I love this house. First of all, the house has a smell to it that smells like fresh pumpkins, which is very weird to say. I know, it's like, Trevor, what are you talking about? What do you mean this house smells like fresh pumpkins? Go into the house and it smells amazing for some reason. 
The scares are perfect. Everyone is in this pumpkin costume thing. And once you get to the witch, it's like, oh my God, this house is just so amazing. And it's so immersive too. You get lost in this house. And at the end, I don't want to spoil it in case if you guys haven't done it, which if you haven't been to Hard Nights this year, what are you doing? Why are you watching this video? You, all right, never mind. Wicked Growth. I will have to put this guy at a solid S tier. I love this house so much. This is another good house. I can never get tired of this house. It's just perfect. Now, if you look at our list, we have three in S tier and three in A tier. So let's start working our way down. Next up is Puppet Theater, and this house is okay. I love the facade. It's really cool. However, the scares are great and the decor's okay. So unfortunately, this guy is going over to C tier. I'm sorry for all you puppet fans. Next, I'm going to be a little controversial. Scary is probably one of the worst houses throughout the entire event. I do not like this house at all. The very beginning of this house is just pitch black. I think it's stupid. And then once you start getting into the town, it's okay. I mean, it gives off like a very nuke town era, but it just doesn't do anything. I know this has something to do with Horror Nights lore, and I apologize because I don't know everything about Horror Nights. This guy's going in D tier. I'm sorry. Next up is Texas Chainsaw Massacre, which I am not a fan of in any capacity, but I got to give credit where credit is due. This house is themed amazing. The scares, this is the scariest house in the entire event. Honestly, it's very intense. Um, don't bring kids into this house because every time I go in, I am screaming, get me out, get me out, get me out. I hate this house so much, but it is so good. I got to put it in B tier. I can't put it in A and S tier just because I don't like it. Which, I mean, it should be higher, but... B tier feels good for me. <laughs> and last but not least, Revenge of the Tooth Fairy. This house again was in 2020 and it is one of the three houses that was in 2020. This house is very okay. I do like how when you walk through, it opens as if it is a book and you have that very Tim Burton-esque design going on. And then it unfolds and you are caught in the scene between these fairies taking over this house. A lot of the details in it are great the scares are all the same. You have these fairies who really look like gremlins just coming after you and just butchering people. I think that this house is missing something, much like Patch, where you have the same monsters and then it leads up to the big monster. I think this house needs something like that. Almost like something to make it worth going through the house. If you did this house in 2020, you don't need to do this again. Nothing has changed pretty much. So this guy is going right next to Scary in D tier. We actually have a special guest star. It is Jaden. Hi. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take a look at his, his ratings and see if they're good enough because I'm all knowing and um, I, yeah. All right, so I can't even read this. What does the first one say? Case files. Case files is an S tier. Yeah, that yeah. Mhm. Mm That's good. Okay, I approve. All right. One thumbs up from Jaden. The second one, S tier. What is that? Icons. Icons. Uh, okay. I don't really remember icons, but I think I blacked out. Third wicked growth. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. A Beetlejuice. Okay, yeah, because Beetlejuice I don't think is an S tier. It's so good. It is also like a classic. Uh, just to have in Horror Nights, but I, I don't think that that makes it an S alone. Bride of Frankenstein, I would put, yeah, I would put that either an A or a B. I would, honestly, I would put Hill House at an S tier. I watched the show and, oh my god, look at you, Hill House, <laughs> haunting of Hill House behind me. Um, I watched the show and the they honestly killed it with the house. I think that that should be an S tier just because of how well they transferred that over. But moving right along, Texas Chainsaw, I don't even think I did Texas Chainsaw. Um, so I can't really put my input. That puppet theater, uh, yeah, some, some of the, puppet theater is cool, but some of the areas aren't as, as, as well themed, in my opinion. It is pretty cool, though. Scary, I would put at a B, honestly. I think scary with, like, the butcher shop and everything, I thought that was awesome. I, I would put that B, maybe an A. 
Um, Revenge of the Tooth Fairy. Yeah, I mean, I would put that at a C. I, I don't feel like it's fair putting any of these at... I know you're comparing them to each other, but they all are very well done. Um, each set and each scene is so well done. I think that uh, putting something at a D, you know, is it, like Tooth Fairy, I thought was awesome. The different scenes in there. But comparing it to everything else, yeah, I would put it lower, like a D or a C. So I actually agree with, with what you have to say here, Trevor. Thank you. Good job. So with all that being said, make sure that you guys check out Halloween Horror Nights. It does end in a week, so head on over there. Do all the houses and let us know what you think. Until then, we will see you guys in the next Spider-Man YouTube video. Bye!